Hello everybody, this is 6th grade math, and we're getting ready to do 12.1. If you need to contact me, email me here. 12.1, graphing on a coordinate plane, this is unit 5. And here's our standard here, find a position pairs of integers and other rational numbers on a coordinate plane. Here is our classwork points, and then we have two points here of note note taking here. Here is the bell work for this lesson here, teachers. Give your students about three, four minutes to do this. And then wait. And then go through and provide the solutions here for your students. Home homeschoolers do the same thing here. Warm up. Class worksheet number one, page one, and we usually start out with a reading exercise here. Reading startup, visualize vocabulary, variable, constant, coefficient, and then use the check words here to complete the graphic over here. Parts of an algebraic expression, 14 plus 3x, here's an algebraic expression definition, mathematical representation, then the review word for it. Definition, a specific number whose value does not change. Then here is 14. Then the review word for this, what would the review word be for this here? It would be... And then a number that is multiplied by a variable is an algebraic expression. A number that is multiplied by a variable is an algebraic expression. Mathematical representation of that, and then the the uh, word that would review word that would fall into this category here and then the letter or symbol used to represent an unknown and then here is the representation of that and then what would that be <clears throat> constant coefficient and then variable here this is page one of classwork page two of classwork Understanding vocabulary, complete the sentences using preview word. Here's our new preview words here. Axes, coordinate plane, coordinates, dependent variable, independent variable, ordered pair, and then origin. <clears throat> and then further, uh, quadrants, x-axis, x-coordinate, y-axis, y-coordinate, scale, and then equation. We have a lot of new preview words here. Students, this is really important. The numbers in an ordered pair are a blank is formed by two number lines, two number lines that intersect at right angles. Coordinates, numbers in an ordered pair of coordinates. A coordinate plane is formed by two numbers that intersect at right angles. Page three, notebook students, this goes in your notebook. How do you locate name points in the coordinate plane? Naming points in the coordinate plane. A coordinate plane is formed by two number lines that intersect at right angles. The point of intersection is zero, or the origin number line. Classwork, page four. <clears throat> Naming points in the coordinate plane. Here is a coordinate plane here. So we're going to name points here. Two number lines are called the axes. Each one of these is called an axis. We have the y axis and then the x axis. The horizontal axis is called the x axis. Here's your horizontal. Right here, x axis. Then the vertical is called the y axis. Y axis is here. The point where the axes intersect is called the origin, origins right here. The two axes divide the coordinate plane into four quadrants. So we have four quadrants here. Quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. An ordered pair is a pair of numbers that gives the location of a point on the, on the what? On the, on the coordinate plane here, an ordered pair. This pair number just gives a location of a point on the coordinate plane. 
<clears throat> the numbers in the ordered pair are called coordinates. The first number is the x-coordinate, and the second number is the y-coordinate. So here is a very important page in your classwork, students. 14 points, so it's lots of points here to begin. Page 5 in your classwork, <clears throat> example 1, identify the coordinates of each point. So we have point A, which is right here. What would be the coordinates of that? Point A is 1 unit to the left and 5 units down. So it would be 1 unit to the left, 5 units down. It has an X coordinate of negative 1. So your X coordinate is always first, negative 1. And the y coordinate is negative 5, so here would be the way that you would write this point here in as an ordered pair, be negative 1, negative 5. It is located in quadrant 3, 1, 2, 3. Here is A right here. So we have 5 units down. And then B, what about B? Point B is two units to the right. So here's our point B here, two units to the right of the origin. Here's your origin, one, two, and three units up. So we go three units up here, three units up. It has an X coordinate of two and a Y coordinate of three. And here is the way it will be written as an ordered pair, two, two, three. It is located in quadrant one. So three units up. Classwork page six. If both coordinates of a point are negative, in which quadrant is the point located? So visualize the coordinate plane. If your x coordinates, or rather your y coordinates are negative and your x coordinates are negative, which which quadrant would it be located in? Describe the coordinates of all points in quadrant one. Describe the coordinates of all points in quadrant one on this line here. If this would be in quadrant three up here, if both uh, coordinates are negative, describe the coordinates of quadrant one. Both coordinates are positive, so it's exactly opposite of quadrant three. Then we have page 7 of the classwork, Communicate Mathematical Ideas. Explain why negative 3, 5 represents a different location than 3, 5. So explain that here. Teachers give your students about 2-3 minutes to explain that in their own words. The x coordinate negative 3, 5 is negative 3. So here's your x coordinate here which will be to the left of the origin. The x-coordinate in 3, 5 is 3, which will be to the right of the origin. So they're in different quadrants here. Here is our homework for 12.1. We have 28 points in our homework. We had two points in our note-taking during the classwork. Here's page one of your homework. Identify the coordinates of each point. Name the quadrant where each point is located. So we got G, E, G, E, and then F and H. And then page 2 of our homework. Identify the coordinates of each point. And in the coordinate plane, name the quadrant. Name the quadrant again. So fill in the blanks here, students, in, do, in doing this. And then page 3 of our homework. Ah, same thing here. Identify where your uh, points here. Give it as an ordered pair. Then page four in our homework, same thing. Use coordinate plane. Each unit represents one kilometer. Write the order our pairs represent the location of Sam in the theater. And then page five. Describe Sam location relative to the theater. Use the coordinate plane here. Each unit represents one kilometer. And then page six, Sam wants to meet his friend Beth at a restaurant before they go to the theater. So we have a theater here. And then you're supposed to plot this. 
And then page seven of our homework, we're still with the theater and the restaurant thing going on here. And produce that, students. This is 12.1. Email me here with a specific request. Have a good day.